A question has been posed a few times that I think is worth talking about. Why do you react to some members content more than others? This question was recently posed in one of our newest JK reactions. So I'm gonna take the opportunity to answer that question and let you know why you may see that occur from time to time. So the comment says, Nico, I'm a big fan of yours, AJJ and Blaze, and watch your channel faithfully. Thank you. But I have to speak of the disappointment I have been feeling the past few days because of how partial you have been to JK's solo work when compared to the other members. You have been reacting to anything slightly related to Seven, even having polls and etc. Uh, so to, to put it quite plainly, uh, first and foremost, we don't intentionally react to one member's content more than any other members. Uh, we are definitely OT7 over here at what you gotta say, and actions always speak louder than words, so you guys ultimately have to judge that for yourselves. Uh, but I can say with all sincerity that yes, we love all seven members of BTS. There's no partiality from our hearts. Next thing I will say is this. I'm working on being more transparent with you guys, more open. It's not easy to really tell people what's going on with me all the time. But if you're seeing stuff like that, it's mainly because of a couple of reasons. The main reason has to do with me. Okay, so. I've been struggling with crippling depression for over a year now. Uh, and this, the source of this depression is really centered around the loss of my mother. Um, and then also the pressure that does come with running what you gotta say. The loss of my mother hit me very, very hard. And to be honest with you guys, I didn't know how I was going to feel until I felt it, you know, and I didn't know how I was going to deal with it until I was forced to deal with it. And it's been a battle every single day. Um, and when I say crippling depression, I mean, when I get into a mode and I, I get depressed, um, what makes it crippling is that I'm not really able to function. I'm not able to really do anything at all, let alone get on camera and do a reaction video. It just literally becomes impossible for me. I'm fighting every single day. I'm trying to get as much help as I possibly can. Uh, and to be completely transparent with you guys, it, it's been getting to the point where I've been having suicidal thoughts. Um, I haven't made any attempts on my life or anything like that. Um, however, I've been having those thoughts on a regular basis, and it's not something that I've ever struggled with before. So I'm in new territory right now, and I I'm doing my very, very best, uh, but my very best doesn't seem to be good enough a lot of days, you know. Um, so that's where I am personally. So there's some months and days where I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling better than others. So I think like our reactions, no, I know for sure that our reactions really do suffer as a result of it. So some months you'll see me really pushing out the content along with AJJ, Blaze, and Mika going really hard. And then other months you'll see dips and we'll be missing content. So it's never intentional. It, it just really is what it is at this point. And to be honest, time passes by and I've already watched that content in my personal time and I'm not going to react to it at that point because I really reserve the reactions you see as a first time reaction, you know? So I watch everything, okay? Just cause you don't see me react to it doesn't mean I'm not watching it, doesn't mean I'm not giving that member attention. I watch everything or as much as I possibly can. Okay, uh, so I think there's a big difference between being a fan and a reactor. The fan in me often takes time to himself to really consume the content. 
because a lot of it is very therapeutic for me. It takes my mind off of things, but at the same time, there's those moments where I don't want the weight of turning on this camera and doing a reaction that often comes with it, even though I do enjoy doing that, but there's a huge responsibility and there's a lot of work that goes into creating reaction videos and being a YouTuber in general. And sometimes when I'm in that mode, I don't have the strength to do it, you know? So that's really the main reason. Now, this next part of the comment is interesting. It states here that Jimmy reacted to love letters as soon as the video was dropped and it felt like no one cared in the least bit about his heartfelt reaction. I watched that on my own time off camera. Same with some promo work for RM's Indigo. I just feel like the rest of the boys by producing their albums worked their butts off while JK with doing much minimal work compared to them is getting such higher praises. That's just my opinion. Don't want to offend anyone. Just stating my feelings. And this is what you got to say respectfully. You have a right to state your feelings. I will counter this last part though. To be honest, you really have to check the numbers. Uh, so for example, Jimin, when his activities were out and, and he was doing his thing, we actually reacted to quite a bit of Jimin's activities between YouTube, between Patreon, uh, between YouTube members. So there was just a lot of content that we were pushing out there for Jimin. And I, I believe like I must have been in a good headspace during that time. The next thing is Sugar. Sugar, I think I counted it up and I don't make it a point to keep track, but just for the sake of me trying to hold myself accountable and really making sure like I'm evaluating my heart. I did check the numbers for Sugar as well. And Sugar reactions during his solo activities, he actually has the most from us between Patreon, YouTube and YouTube members across all those platforms. Uh, he's gotten the most attention from us. So to say that JK, JK is getting the most attention is, is false. Okay. Um, he, he's not currently, it seems that way right now because his stuff is out there. He's doing a lot right now for seven. We're loving every minute of it. Just like we love every minute of everything that each other member has done and will be bringing to us in the future. Uh, this month, this current time right now, I'm doing well. I'm doing better than I have been in previous months. And it goes up and down. It's a, it's a literal rocky roller coaster ride for me right now. So I actually, I'm actually happy right now. And I feel like sharing experiences with you guys like as much as possible right now because that's just how I'm feeling right now. I don't know what it's gonna look like tomorrow. Every day I am fighting, okay? And I'm not trying to get any sympathy whatsoever. I don't want anyone feeling sorry for me because I'm a human being and I go through things just like every human being on this planet does. I just want to be clear and transparent about that. I don't want there to be any misunderstandings between us if I can help it. Now, of course, we're doing life together. And when you're doing life with people, you will have mis misunderstandings. That's just a complete fact. And some of us are on the same page some of us are further ahead than others and some of us haven't even opened the damn book but it's all good we're all doing life together and the other thing that really is a challenge for us is scheduling so oftentimes i don't want to do a reaction by myself especially when i'm feeling even the slight tis hint of depression i'm more comfortable doing it with other people it helps to take my mind off of things and it helps to bring a level of comfort to me so when the guys are meek are they're not available to do a reaction with me it does discourage me now not to say they're not giving their all because they absolutely are and it is what it is they have to do life just like the rest of us but when they're not able to make it schedules get flipped around it does discourage me and we end up missing the opportunity to react to a piece of content before something else drops that gets our attention it's, it's just not as easy as it looks and I'm not complaining because I absolutely love what we do. I love this platform. I love you guys and I thank you guys so much for tuning in and being real and respectful as fam should be. Uh, but I'm just being real with you guys and um, as transparent as I possibly can. So 
that's all I have to say about that. Thank you guys for listening, tuning in. Shout out to you guys if you actually watched the whole video. I'm Nico. What you got to say, watch your fam. Love you to life. <laughs>